Um, this is part two of the uh, video that I've just dropped. Um, not just dropped, but like the video that I've recently dropped. And uh, we're down here at... Which dam is this? This is Tree Dam. We're down here at Tree Dam. And uh, have a look at that view. No, I'm going to go up to Hippo Rock, but um, I just want to tell you plans for all these and just have a chat about how they're going and stuff. So, um, Tree Dam, in summer, we call it Tree Dam because these trees, oh, two seconds, I'm knee deep in a uh, trees and water, but these trees all around this, like, all, all that there, they're dormant, so that's why they're not, they don't have green leaves on them, uh, they all look kind of dead, but, um, that's why, but plans for this is a yabby dam, um, dad wanted this to be the perch dam, um, if it did stay this full, all bloody, um, all through summer and stuff, we would have put the trout in here, but we know that hippo, that dam, stays full through summer. Um, so that's good. So I'll walk through here. Turn these off, walk through here, turn these back on and go for a lap around and check if we can see any yabbies. But the water's actually quite warm. But yeah, I'm in my joggers. Wet joggers, wet joggers, wet joggers. Wait, what is that? What is that? What's it that's doing there? It would have kicked off by now. Oh no. He's dead. His shell's broken. He's been eaten by something. Oh no. Yeah, see? Let it focus. A beak's got in that. Oh, not my focus. Sorry. That's sad. Oh. Sorry, mate, but you're going to have to sit on the outside. Actually, no, I'll throw you back in for food for the others. Oh, that's bad. I feel so bad. But, yeah, you can tell it's risen a lot. Um, I'll throw some pictures in about, in somewhere in this video of how the dam was in summer when we first came. And how the dam is now. Look at it. That's awesome. Alright, I'll do a walk around and, uh, Standing here, look at that sunset, it's so beautiful. I'm just standing here having a look around, seeing if I can see any more dead yappies, but it doesn't look like it. I'm hoping they haven't walked away with all this rain, but yeah. The bike's parked right there, right, right there. I was over there. Um, keep walking through here, and then quickly shoot up to the track dam, Hippo Rock. Um, Sorry this video isn't the longest, but it's going to be a short one. It's just that I didn't want to bore you um, squeezing this all into one um, video. I like to have my videos around 15 to 14 minutes because I find if it's too long, my viewers get bored. And if it's too short, my viewers are still bored. So, because i got nothing to watch. So I'll have a little bit of a walk through here and uh, have a look around. Finger roll. Train 
Just walk through there. I'm gonna leave this and quickly jump up to Hippo Rock and um, have a bit of a chat about Hippo Rock. Um, it might be a bit of a longer chat than this dam because Hippo Rock, I have lots of plans for it. And uh, yeah, bike quickly zoomed up. Oh, far out. Walk up here. Oh, my ankle, my ankle. My ankles are cold for walking in the water. Holy! <coughs> Let me spin you there. Holy actuals! Now, recently, if you see my um my trout in the dam. My trout in the dam, you would have seen this was way lower. Wow. Far out. Right there, bust up. In the middle of there, bust up. Oh, wow. Back to back trout. They love, love, love when it's rained. They're more active. They. Yeah, they're more active. Um, you see them swimming around a lot more. Oh, this is impressive. Let's see if I can get one up close. But um, I'll sit up on the top of a, the bank and I'll tell you about the plans for this. And uh, yeah. So. As you would know if you've been following me for a while, um, this is Hippo Rock Dam. Uh, it stays pretty full through summer, but I have not seen it this full yet. Did you see that? Right there. I hope you've seen that. I'll see if I can zoom it in. Um, but yeah, so at the moment there's trout in here and uh, they're doing amazingly well. I don't think that's a word, but I just use it anyways. Um, plans for this dam. We've got trout in it at the moment. When we get all the trout out of it, in summer we want to put barramundi in it. And eventually, when WA has got silver, silver um, perch in stock, we'll be putting silver perch, we'll put in a variety, and... I was researching because we wanted, we don't want to buy more trout and barramundi and all that. And when I researched, they need flowing water. They need like a waterfall so they can jump up and spawn in the pools. So, um, in the future, I want to make, on the dam bank there, I want to make a um, waterfall kind of thing that I could pump from the dam up into the pool fill the pool and then it overflows so they can jump up onto the um into the pools spawn in the pools and then jump back down if they need um but if we weren't going to do that we'd have to inject them with um hormones uh, yeah hormones but uh, i'm gonna do a lap of this dam walk in the water um if you have been following me for a while you would know that this used to be an old yabby dam and uh I fished most of the yabbies out and put them down in that um, hip, not hippo, tree dam. The one that we were just at. Oh. Um, and I think there's still a couple in here, but it should be good for now because fish like to sleep on their side. I fished them all out. But I would have kept them in, but fish like to sleep on their side. Oh. Yeah, anyways. Fish like to sleep on their side, and when they're sleeping on the bottom on their side, yabbies will um, usually come, like, because they're bottom feeders, they'll find this fish and they'll just eat into them. And then, oh, look at this. Two seconds. See that? 
but right there is a frog. Hopefully you've seen that on camera, but there was a frog that was pretty gangster. So pretty much that's what they would be eating. Um, we didn't intend for them to be eating frogs because obviously frogs do a good part of uh, the ecosystem and stuff. We didn't intend on that, but if they're going to live in it, they got a bunch of other dams they could live in and um, if they they want to go, they've even got a big creek. If they want to come live in here, they're going to have to deal with it because we love the fish and um, frogs and tadpoles and their eggs are probably the main food source in here. But there's also mosquito larvae, um, some fish, so you see all the birds on top of the water now. Some fish, when they do their, um, when they drop their, oh, how am I going to say this without sounding inappropriate? Um, I'm just going to say it. When they do a shit in the water and it creates an algae which they eat, um, I think so anyways, I've got to do some more research on that, but it's beautiful. But yeah, um, that's it. This video was kind of um, short. Oh, it's wrong. This video was kind of short and um, short and sweet. Uh, this is a part two, but this isn't a video that I'll be dropping in a week. Actually, no. Um, yeah, this was short. And uh, I'm just excited that the dams are risen. But um, hope you've enjoyed part one and part two. If you're tuning in now and watching part two, make sure you jump back a video and watch part one because part one was heaps better, more interesting. This was just a before the sun goes down um, kind of gig. So make sure you jump back, watch for my other videos, watch part one. And um, till the next time, and we out.